In today's off-track adventure, we're going to be exploring a section of Flinders Peak I've been eyeing off for a while now. So stay tuned for such amazing content as slipping, <sighs> panting, <sighs> nostril shots, <laughs> but I must say, and rock falls. Rock fall! Jeez. All coming up in this episode. Normally, most folk climb Flinders via the tourist trail, which starts at the Flinders Plum area. But today, we start this one at the Mount Elliot end of Flinders Peak, off Undulla Road. It puts you on the southern side of the mountain, and you start about halfway up. This is also a great alternative route for quick access to the summit for sunrises. So you keep going along this trail for a bit and uh, the caves are over there somewhere but we're going to go up here oh. oh that's a bad rock that i have my whole weight on ah <laughs> uh. uh. As mentioned at the beginning, this is a section that I've been wanting to explore for a while. It just looked so explorable every time I went past. It looked like a moderately challenging yet cruisy climb up to the top. But if I've learned anything from my time on the trails, it's that looks can be very deceiving. Some handholds. <laughs> there is no way I would attempt this in my Salomons. No way. Oh, spiky stuff. So, what's wrong with my Salomons? Well, nothing in the right environment. But this is definitely not the right environment. This is where I break out my La Sportiva TX4 approach shoes, which are brilliant for any type of scrambling rocky terrain where good grip is required. You'll hear me babbling about them in some of my videos in the vain hope that La Sportiva will hear me and decide to give me a pair of their hiking boots. You right? What's up, jumping ants? Oh, yeah, I see him. Man. Whoa, they're big ones too, look at that. Hope the GoPro picks that up. Wildlife encounters are a feature of any off-track exploring in this type of environment. And today I accidentally disturbed a nest of giant ants. 
On a previous trip on the north side of Flinders Peak, we disturbed the jumping ants nest and they were less than happy to see us. This is a reality you must face when doing this sort of thing, but it adds to the adventure. And there's options here too. We could either go up that way or around here and up there. Uh, yeah. I eventually thought it would be a good idea to join Tim in wearing a helmet, as the rockfall risk on this side of the mountain is rather high. The rocks appear to be stable, but they just break off without any warning. So it's a good idea if you want to do this one, not to follow directly behind the person in front of you. Now it looks fun. <laughs> Don't follow it too close, there's a couple of loose rocks here. Whoa! Very. <laughs> couple of routes. And yet, even with all that rockfall knowledge in yeah. mind, the unexpected still happened. Whoa! Rockfall! Rockfall! Jeez. just completely took out that tree. I saw. Damn. Yeah. Did you see the size of that rock though? It was big. Yeah. Man. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm nervous now for some reason. <laughs> Why, Tim? <laughs> Why are you nervous? <laughs> Maybe because that rock just cleaned out a giant chute right behind you. Yeah. Damn, I did not expect that thing to move. I barely put any pressure on that rock and it just dislodged and fell down the mountainside, wiping out a tree and smashing to pieces. Unfortunately, due to the heavy rains we had earlier in the year, the dirt that would normally be surrounding a lot of these rocks and holding them in place just isn't there. And they were just waiting for the slightest touch to let go. Yeah, we have the alternative of that way, which looks interesting. Um, bit, of, bit of interesting scrambling there. Or this way, which probably is the safer one. Yeah, a bit more... Um, yeah, <laughs> the rock looks, looks like it's about to shear off. And it's looking quite undesirable. Yeah. Oh. Well, that rock just exploded too. That just like totally smashed to pieces. Okay. Oh. Termites, I think. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab hold of this. No, that's dumb. This one. Ugh. So after that close call with the giant rock, we were a little more nervous on the remaining scrambles. You can see a boulder up here that looks looks like it wants to be set free. with the tourist trail. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> A bit different to the usual way. <sighs> After a brief break on the summit, we decided to descend via the eastern side. It's easier to climb up this way than to descend it, so we used the rope and harnesses, which is a bit overkill for this section, as normally we would use tape for this type of thing. But we had the rope and the harnesses, so why not use them? Then the final abseil into the darkness, which is, well, just pretty cool. Done. 
So from here you work your way down and you end up meeting up with the fire trail which leads back to the Mount Elliot end where we parked. So this concludes my Flinders Peak off-track adventure of the South Trail. It's not a big trip and it can easily be smashed out in an afternoon. Whoa. Gumby if you want to follow my crazy example here, just oh, be mindful of loose terrain and falling rocks. A helmet's a good idea, and don't follow directly behind your fellow adventurers. Stay a little bit off to one side if you can, but other than that, it's one fun little adventure.